Today I'm back with another update on Caspa as it has recently started to break out. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm, I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so as you guys can see on the seven day time frame, Caspa has finally had that breakout. We went from about 13 and a half cents all the way up to about 18 cents. And at the current moment, Caspa's up just over 24% in the last week. And this is actually kind of cool because in my last Caspa video, I had it titled Caspa gearing up for a breakout because price action was about to retest the 21 day moving average. But their market cap is back above 4 billion. It's sitting at 4.1 billion and it's ranked 26th among all cryptocurrencies. And then the circulating supply is 23.8 billion out of a max supply of 28.7 billion, which is about 83% in circulation. Now, personally, I don't ever recommend chasing a pump, but if you guys are looking to accumulate Caspa, I recommend using KuCoin or Mexi. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But we'll go ahead and hop straight into the Caspa X account. And their first post is June 3rd. Caspa is heading to Vegas. So this is something to be looking out for because it's going to help get their name and technology out there. And then they post on June 2nd. Caspa meetup part 3. Hashtag unfolds how Caspa aims to solve MEV plus Oracle problems plaguing DeFi. And then they reposted on May 31st. New crypto alert. Cas powering the ultra fast Caspa network is now up for grabs on Let's Exchange. With over 4,500 coins and tokens to choose from, it's time to diversify your portfolio. So anytime you see a new exchange listing, that's going to be bullish for a project. But honestly, there's not any super important Caspa information since my last video, which makes me think that for the most part, the pump was due to technical analysis. A lot of people are starting to remember how good of a project Caspa actually is. Because at the end of the day, you have to remember, they are supposedly the first ever project to solve the blockchain trilemma of scalability, decentralization, and security, which obviously could be huge for the crypto space. But now we'll hop into some macro news that could affect Caspa's price action. So this is Watcher Guru's X account. And they posted 40 minutes ago, Van Eck CEO says Bitcoin will eventually become at least half the market cap of gold. And I personally completely agree with this. Every single day, the world is becoming even more digital. And it is so much easier to use Bitcoin than it is gold. You can send money to people completely across the world in just minutes. And then three hours ago, Thailand approves their first spot Bitcoin ETF. And in my video yesterday, I was talking about how Australia just approved their first spot Bitcoin ETF. So the chain reaction has officially started. And then 17 hours ago, Keith Gill's GameStop investment is now at an $85 million unrealized profit. And obviously, I know GameStop isn't crypto, but when GameStop was pumping, it caused a lot of DGen cryptos to skyrocket. So this is very exciting to see. And then as I was saying, this post right here on June 3rd, Australia's first spot Bitcoin ETF trading starts tomorrow. So in general, things are starting to look better and better for crypto. But while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I do post on here pretty much every single day, so there's some information you guys aren't going to want to miss out on. And then I also would like to take a moment to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, and there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, you guys are going to have closer access to me, and you guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And most of the cryptos that we trade in here are less than 10 million in market cap. They are micro cap gems. See, a lot of you guys out there are absolutely thrilled with Casper making 25% gains in seven days. We see gains like that all the time in here. For example, we just made 539% gains on Trump in less than a week. And the gains just go on and on. So if this sounds like something that might interest you guys, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building a very strong community. I would love to have you guys in here. But now for the final part of this video, we'll get into some technical analysis. And I'm going to be completely honest right now. As I said, Caspa absolutely exploded out of the consolidation. However, we are now trading way above all of the moving averages and the RSI and stochastics are extremely overbought. Personally, I would never chase this pump. So if you did miss out on this Caspa pump, I would start drawing it out in some sort of a bull flag pattern. So ideally, as this flag starts to fill out, the 21-day moving average would start to creep up, and then price action could potentially get another bounce off of it as a support level, very similar to what it did previously. But in general, congratulations to any of you guys that just made a lot of money off of this pump. Now lastly, we'll take a look at Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. And this is actually Bitcoin on the 4-hour time frame. And in my video yesterday, I was talking about how price action did actually start to get a pump, however the RSI was extremely overbought. It showed that the effort being used to pump Bitcoin did not match price action, which made me think that the breakout was not legit. Now, after that breakout, price action did flag out for about the last day or so. And now there is another bullish engulfing candle forming at the current moment. So we'll see if Bitcoin can get the proper volume. But first, I'm going to need to see it get back above 70,600, then back above preferably about 72,000. Honestly, I'm kind of looking at Bitcoin very similar to how I was looking at Caspa. Bitcoin just in heavy consolidation right now. I won't be surprised if Bitcoin all of a sudden gets this massive explosion. 
And then obviously, if it does that, altcoins could absolutely skyrocket. But at the end of the day, just remember, crypto is still an extremely volatile asset class. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Casper will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.